Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the Amazon Basics 12 cup programmable coffee maker. I'm gonna show how to make a pot, as well as go over how to set the clock and programmable timer. Now at the time I record this video, the price of this coffee maker is $36. But once again, just understand prices do jump around. And I had a look on the site and it's temporarily out of stock. So hopefully at some point it's available again. Now Amazon keeps it just that, pretty basic. Comes with a measuring scoop. This is equal to one tablespoon. One tablespoon per each cup of coffee. We'll be making a full pot, so we're gonna be using 12. Reusable filter basket. That's pretty cool. I think the five cup model that I did came with one as well. And here's your removable brew basket. This takes cone style filters. It doesn't take the basket style filters. So you have, would have to purchase those separately, the paper cone style filters. There's the shower head. And a look at the water reservoir. Your water level indicator is on the side of the unit. So you have from 2 to 12 cups. And that's the control panel, which we will be going over in a minute. And this is the box it comes in. At least this is the box mine came in. Amazon does keep it basic. And the coffee for this test, we're going to be using the chock full of nuts, 100% Colombian medium strength. And once again, we're going to be doing 12 scoops for the 12 cups, which is a full pot. And 12. Now for setting the clock and programmable timer. It's pretty much like most coffee makers. Plug it in. It should flash 12 o'clock a.m. Actually, this one's not flashing. It's just a steady 12. You head over to the hour and minute buttons. You set the current time. Let's just say in this example, 3.10 p.m. So we'll just scroll to 3 o'clock. Notice it changed from a.m. to p.m. I like they, they show the a.m. indicator and the p.m. indicator. And most coffee makers just show um, PM. And you head over to the minute button to set the minute. You said 310. If you hold it down, it scrolls a lot quicker. And for this, well, we said 310. Okay. Now the current time is set. For setting the programmable timer, a couple of steps. First, head over to the auto program button. You press that. The time, now the time flashes and you head over to the hour and minute button, you set the time you would like for it to start in the morning. Let's just say 6.35 a.m. So we're ready in a.m. We'll go to six. We'll go to the minute button and you hit, well you hit, you hold it down until you get to the desired minute. In this case, 35. Okay, slides around a little bit. The next step, after you set the time, just press the program button again, the auto program button again, and then what they want you to do is press and hold it for three seconds until you see that red light illuminate. Now the time is set for 6.35 a.m. So it's a couple of steps. You have to press, set the time, the current time, press the auto program button, set the time you would like for it to go off in the morning. Once you do, press it quickly, and then press and hold it again for three seconds to activate it. So it's a couple of steps. A little tricky, this one. You wanna see that red light illuminated above the auto program button. If you don't, it won't go off in the morning. Now, as is proven, I'll make mention for folks who don't want to deal with the clock or the programmable timer. You just want to put the water and the coffee in and start the unit. That's um, your traditional on-off button.
Okay, so from 6.35 to, what's that say, 6.48. So that's 13 minutes. So figure about a minute a cup. Let's give it a pour. So we're getting around the normal range, 160. I do this just so you guys get an idea of strength, since you can't really smell or taste it. Right, let's see. Yeah, that's a good bold cup. I use the 12 scoops. Um, about 13 minutes to complete a full pot. Tries to push 160 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's a bold cup. It has nice strength to it. This is pretty good for Amazon Basics. Once again, 36 bucks for the coffee maker. That price is going to jump around, but for a 12 cup programmable coffee maker from Amazon, I think that's pretty good. You don't have carafe temperature options or bold options. You really don't need a bold option. That comes out pretty bold. I think the cone style coffee makers, they give you a more bold cup than the basket style ones. That's As I'm doing these reviews, I'm starting to notice that little pattern. The ones with the cone filters, well, I should say I say cone filter. I mean, the cone style tends to give you a more stronger cup. But that just seems to be my experience. So that's going to conclude this video. I hope you found it interesting. Hope it was helpful for anyone looking to purchase this unit. Or for those who already have it and just wanted to navigate the control panel. Please give the video a like. Please subscribe. That definitely helps the channel out. More than you think. That really does. And I appreciate it. Leave me a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. And I thank you for watching.